Hi, I'm Steven. And I'm Steve. And this is Cherry Knoll Whiskey Reviews. Today is day eight of our 12 days of Christmas Advent whiskey calendar thing. <laughs> so Four days away. Right. Got four days after this. Moving along quickly. What do you think today is going to be? Uh, I think today is going to be... I'm still holding out for the Redwood Rye. I think today is going to be a... Uh, what is it? Oban Scotch? Or Balvini Scotch? Do you even have any of that? Yeah, I've got Balvini 14. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I can tell you it's definitely not scotch. Yeah, it smells more <laughs> like an Isla than anything else. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, not, oh, not at wow. all. Wow. It is <laughs> super sweet. Yeah. A little bit of oak with vanilla. A little bit of nuttiness, maybe. The Yeah, it's, it's vanilla. It's like a almond macaron, maybe or something yeah, like that. Macaroon. And it's uh, it's again. This is another one. This is second in a row now, where it's like creamy. Like it's yeah. got that creamy, velvety feel to it. On the nose, a little, a little bit <laughs> higher proof than yesterday's. A little bit. Like it's still not keeping me from putting my nose in the yeah, glass. It doesn't punch you in the face. But I'd say it's closer to 100 <clears throat> proof than the last one was at 90. Yeah, I think so. But what do I give the nose? Hmm. So, almond, vanilla, a little bit of nuttiness. Yep. Yep. The, what did I say? Uh, like a almond a macaron? Macaroon. Maca, Maca Macarena. Almost, good. almost like a little bit of rye, maybe. A little bit, like a high rye. I feel like it's like a low high rye. You know how right, some like high a, ryes are thirteen and others are 20. like twenty-five. Yeah. yeah, I feel like this is on the lower end of the high rye. Category. I was thinking like twenty percent. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's got enough rye influence to it. <clears throat> This is another, like, just dessert bourbon for Right. Me. I was going to say, it's got the caramels <coughs> and sweet. Like, pair that with a cheesecake. Right. And tell me it wouldn't be good. Yeah. What are you giving the nose? Did you give it a score yet? I'm I thinking, think I know where I'm going to be. I'm thinking 20. I was thinking 20 as well. There's uh, more complexity to it than yesterday's Elmer T. <coughs> yep. But it's not overly complex. Yeah. It's it's sweet. It's a little savory, spicy. Um, and aside from that, it's it's not much else. Right. Slight oak. Yep. But not over oaked. No, not at all. Yeah, I think 20 is a good number for this nose. I agree. Do I get into it? Yes. See what the flavors have in store for us. Ooh. It's got that rye bite to it. It does. But it doesn't, it doesn't bite as much as I thought it would. A little bit of oak, red berries. Yeah, those red berries. Yeah, very yeah. intense red berries. Yep. It's got like a little bit of like the evergreen type flavor. Yeah. Just a little bit. 
going off of the back of the Elmer T. Lee yesterday, this is uh, quite a bit more. It is, yeah. Uh, yeah. is night and day with the amount of flavor and everything else going on in this. Yeah, and it's got some of the similar flavors as the Elmer, but that spice comes out way more. Yeah, and I like that a lot. Yeah, you're liking the spice. Yeah, a little bit of oak and rye spice. Yeah, which I don't normally like oak, but it's definitely more rye spice than oak spice. I think it's equal, equal parts. Because hmm. the oak is like right off the tail end of the rye. Like you yeah. get that rye spice into like a peppery oak. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> this is a high score. I'm giving 19 for flavor. 18. Really? Yeah. What'd you What'd you give the nose? 17? Uh, no, or Romo was 20. 20. That's right. Yeah. Wow. We're neck and neck right now. Yeah. It's very high scoring. It is. But it's good. It, it's definitely something to dive into and explore a yeah. lot more. Yeah. Maybe water it down a little bit. Maybe try out all those little things. So what do you think it is? I feel like I'm going to be surprised at what this is. Because I feel like it's one of the higher proof knob creeks. Mm. I don't think so. It's not oaky. Like... It's not oaky enough. Hmm. I was thinking that it's got wild turkey taste to it, oh. but that rye isn't <clears throat> isn't yeah. right. And I don't think we have the rare breed rye open. We don't. No. So. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah, my, my gut. Green my, Master's Keep from last year. Th is that even open? Yeah. Did we do that? We did yeah, a we review did. on that's it. Right. It's a yeah. burr rye. Yeah, that's right. Which is why... I'm going to say this is the green master's keep. I feel like I'm definitely wrong, but I'm still sticking to Knob Creek Knob just Creek? in case. What do we got? Five. Five. I feel like you wouldn't put Knob Creek on here. Wild Turkey Master's Keep. Hey. Uh, after getting the Wild Turkey notes, uh -huh. I, I was like, oh yeah, I this did put be. in the master's keep, so I might make a fool myself <clears throat> for calling this yeah. what it is, but in the same hand. I'm gonna give it a shot because we've only got four more to go. Right. So here's another one that the nose and flavor are gonna be really awesome and the price and availability are gonna be really crappy. Right. So it's at 105 proof, batch number one. I don't know if they made more than one batch. I think hmm. it's only a single yeah. batch. But uh, yeah. As, uh, do we do we rate this one's availability yep. or do we rate yeah, no. master keeps this one's available okay so that's got to be like a one or a two yeah because it, so. it's a one-time thing yeah uh so right away you can do availability a one i'm gonna put a one yeah yeah like i almost want to put a zero but that means that it's unobtainium <laughs> right and, and you can definitely get it right you're gonna be paying quite a bit and as time goes on you're right gonna it's only gonna go up way like more. i i don't think i've seen last year's master's keep on the shelf last year's meaning 20... this one. Oh, this one yeah okay so i don't think i saw it on the shelf more than past march yeah yeah so so price do we rate it off of price when you got it and when it yeah. was available, yeah, no, the MSRP okay. of it, okay, yeah. okay. because which that's is... what I found it at was two fifty, which is what two fifty is MSRP. Yeah, <sighs> which I think, as far as I'm concerned, it's got to be a five. I put it four. at a four. Yeah, because something that, like, if if I would just straight up not buy it ever, I would put it at a zero or a one. But this, like. If given the chance and like in a position where I could buy it, I would definitely buy it. 
but I'm not picking this up. Right, and normally by the time that you're in a position to get it, it may be five years <clears throat> afterwards, right. and maybe then twenty five hundred. Right, and then you're looking at a secondary <coughs> of someone who put it on a shelf. Yeah. So, yeah, it's really bad scoring for both of those. Yeah. Even but, though the flavor and aroma scored really high, this just goes to show that just because the first half is really good and scores really high, the second half can absolutely kill it. Yeah. This was a 44 for me. Are you sure it's 44 for you? Yeah. yeah 44 for me as well. I, I wasn't expecting us to end up with the exact same score. Yeah, it's 44. 20, 19, 1, and 4. 44. Uh, right, because I gave it 20, 18, 1, and 5. There it is. So there, the, <laughs> we just swapped the 1 in two yeah. different spots. Yep. Which that, the only thing under this now is Jack Daniels 12 for me. Under that? Yeah. Let's see. <clears throat> I feel like that might be your last. It is. Yeah. It is in last place. Even though the flavor and aroma would put it, yeah, second or third, mm -hmm. the the overall puts it really low because you just can't get it anymore. Yeah. A one and done type thing, and yeah. when you have to buy it that one and done time, it's really expensive. Yeah. Yep. So. You better know someone who's getting rid of a bottle cheap and right but uh yeah with that being said thanks for watching make sure to like comment subscribe we'll catch you on the next one